Okay, so the learning objectives on this chapter, you as a student will be uh, understand the importance of using a citation uh, in your work, especially in your research or in your assignment. And then to identify the general information used in a citation, to identify the general rules, a very um, common element in preparing APA and MLA bibliographic style, and you will be uh, able to cite your reference according to the appropriate or the standard of APA bibliographic and MLA bibliographic style. So now the irony of the rule follower is they often caught a lot of people that do not follow as many rules as they do. But this is a just um, open day or open code for today. So you um, as a student, you usually um, copying other people's whatever they have said, right? So sometimes the people will be sharing the quotations to them, uh, to others, but sometimes they didn't follow as what they have um, share or have their preach and the times uh, goes by where um, still we're not near to end up with the new um, variations of COVID mutations and so forth you also will be uh, receiving a lot of un, um, un what we call unauthorized or unproven truth of the story so Beware of when you want to share or quote other people's things because it will be reflect back to your reputations when you are using other people's ideas and that is also will be avoid you to um, to fall into the pitfall of embracing yourself. Okay, so as a student, you have to be critical when you want to share something in the media or with your friends and your families. So that is just for today. So what to remind you on that um, sharing is um, actually um, quite common in nowadays, yeah, especially in um, where we are working in online and virtual world. So citations. So citation is. Um, you give it or credit to your reader uh, based on the material or passage that you use and or you borrow and put it inside your works and this is um, a way of providing uh, information where a particular quotation text is to be found in bibliographic reference and this one we use a citation as a student, as yourself, to avoid yourself cutting in plagiarizing other people. So that's why um, some of you might be getting more than 40% right similarity since the previous students have uploaded the same um, materials inside the server in Turnitin. So they will be assumed that they are just plagiarizing. But I will be check on that turn it in again because you need to have uh, less than 30% of similarity index for your works. If not, you have to redo. But some of the works are actually um, copying the, not copying, is actually the citation percentage is actually the template that is necessary to be included that, that need uh, cannot be changed. So I will do on the Tara of uh, elimi or eliminate it or excluded it from being um, counted as plagiarized or similarity so that you can have a reduce of your similarity index. And another way of what we call the citation is also giving the um, what we call um, an overview of where that your work is come from all right and then you also will be citing your sources because you want to justify your work is come from other people as well this case have their validations and then it is leading outside support to your ideas and it's giving you uh, uh, some indication that you have a thorough research according to uh, on the current situation or current research or of your study yeah a researcher will uh, 
citing other people works not to say that they are lazy but it's actually to show how thorough are they and they are didn't simply like jump into the field without investigating of the current situations because of course the research that you are working on just imagine as a student that if you are further your study in degree level and you want to do a research about human resource um, performance there will be a lot of information and materials according to the field that you are undergo so you don't want to simply just saying without any um, justifications and a proof uh, you have a concrete ideas behind your um, finding you have your problem statement been strengthened that the issue you um, brought out is as actually a matter of a people is actually uh, taking into consideration and do a lot of research on it so it shows your tremendously um, doing a lot of research on it as well and of course sometimes citation will be helping you to avoid yourself being caught into a getting bad reputation of from someone else bad idea just in case accidentally you cite some people or uh, research and the finding is not accurate but you already have a citation uh, you cite the authors or the original author of that data and finding um, you slightly have um, can hinder yourself to get the full blame on it or to take the full um, guilty on citing the ideas or the data in it at least you you can avoid yourself to totally tarnish your reputations on that so that is might be just um, what we call honest mistakes of what you have right and you might be need to do of thorough research according to its um, nature of your um, research and problem statement so that's why these citations is actually important for you as a student to help you throughout your journey in your study uh, in an academic perspective because when you undergo um, diploma or degree level actually you have to brought out a report and research because that is your contribution to yourself and to the institutions and the academic yeah so your ideas your contribution is actually direct back to the community and when you want to solve a problem then you can come out with the new uh, solution to it so that is your contributions and okay now we move to the common component that should be included in the citations okay so to give a credit in a common in-text citation you must have the author and the date of publication if you do not have these two very common then you need to cite the title or the publisher name and locations if those one two three four on top of it or the component doesn't have any um, reference then you have to just include the date of the copy and might be from the internet source yeah the internet source um, www.url so that will be included in the text so this is the in-text citation so i know that most of you will be familiar because you're reading an online article then that's why you will be familiar of citation style which is last name and this is actually year but these persons are using the part of page inside the book so this is an example of in-text citation. So this is what I meant when you need to prepare for your assignment too. You need to prepare in-text citations and bibliography. Okay, the three materials here is actually will be used. Okay, um, again, I reinforce and then I emphasize back to your assignment too. You have to find electronic book or printed based book. And then you need to find magazine and journal and a newspaper so in a book the general component in your bibliographic items in the reference should have authors name title place of publication publisher and year of publication uh, details of um, format of how to write APA and MA will be discussed after this and you also can refer to the added notes I have shared before Okay. and the journal 
and this is for newspaper so this is the guideline I just go through this in writing your bibliographic part so you can take a look on the right side the reference so this is um, you will be expecting to prepare this because your assignment too will be asked you to uh, as in the group 45 yeah 45 bibliographic list for APA and 45 bibliographic list for MLA so there are two of bibliographic listing so you do not be confused and the bibliographic in here just follow this format start entry from the left margin and then start indent the second line so the indent will be in a half inch from the left margin and of course do not number you don't have to numbers but sometimes in the online article does have a number but that is using the APS style in writing or research article but for a uh, research like yourself now for the for the sake of this assignment you do not re uh, renumber your listing yeah do not put one two three do not do that but please sorting it according to alphabet a to z in ascending order and when you want to sorting this please omit a uh, and and the in the title when arranging each entry so you can see here there's a name sam here right Burnett and Burnett A. So compare E and A, A comes first. So in a generally speaking, you will be included this in on top, not on this bottom. So because of Burnett, Alice P and Restory, generally speaking, if we didn't look at the title, it will be number second. Why does this is at the third? Because we look at an I here. We do not look at the the is need to be omitted when you want to sort it so i just use a pen so you do not check when you want to sort this you start by the title the word meaningful word so this is i so this one on the second bibliographic list is n so you have to sort in this according to alphabet in ascending order so n comes first after i or N comes with B for I so you have to sort it according to the title for the bibliographic reference so that is the format of bibliographic style for APA any questions so far? and for the name format um, if you still remember when you learn on for record management of PM247 when you do learn on cross-referencing for them cross-referencing and classification system classification system for Robin Hood or John Albert Green for English name and Asian name as for this one we will assume that Robin Hood is um, the surname for this name is Hood and R will be the first name because in English name we have surname, first name and middle name and this is the second example John Albert Green you will be cite it in the bibliographic in the bibliographic you will cite it as Green this is the surname okay and then J is the first name and A will be the middle name so you will be cited in the bibliographic in this order Lim Tak Lim Hak T will be cited as Lim H T. So you cite the name full and others in initial. So this is a Chinese name. So you familiar that Chinese name is the surname is in front. So just cite as Lim H T. Yeah, please um, initialize every of the name that written in full here. For example, Albert will be initialized as A, and Mahadir bin Saleh will be cited as Mahadir Saleh. We will be remove bin or binti here then we do not have uh, Asian Malay name do not have surname and last name even though we know that this is parent name but you just cite as it is and exclude any title of doctor or um, title of the position the persons have okay and move to omit horrific title for example sir and doctor but this seniority junior uh, junior uh, and second and fourth this is included in the real name so you have to classify this and cite it together 
For example, Sir Alex Ferguson will be signed as Ferguson A without Sir. George W. Bush Jr. will be signed as Bush G. W. Jr. So don't do not change it into J only. Don't have to initialize it. And James Mishner, MD. So MD is the title for doctor, and then we will we'll cite it in bibliographic as Mishner J. So you don't have to include MD here. For publication by eight or more authors, please only list the first six. Yeah first six author and then insert an ellipsis so this is ellipsis the three dots inside the bibliographic so this one uh, it does have more author like 10 authors so you at the number six author here in this one you will continue this ellipsis then you put the last name of the author the last author of that publication like this this is the order of how to write a uh, author name with more than six or seven okay um are you clear so far okay huh? and date as for the publication or productions date you will be used um parentheses and then you parentheses this one you have to closing it yeah after name this is surname or last name first name and then this one is the middle name you can put the year if you have the full date you can put it on the full date just like this actually it doesn't wrong if you want to put Jan, uh, 21st January 2010 it still be acceptable correct because Malaysians this is how we calendar we look at the date but in uh, Western they use a year month and then the date Okay, you don't have to put spring as well for that season you can just put in here uh, okay both is still correct and for a newspaper and uh, magazine they have used in hyphen is this also correct but what is not correct if you rename or acronym the full name of the month for example uh, January you put Jan so that is incorrect so do not put in initial or acronym for the name of the month for example December DEC so don't do that just write it in full title so in a title is very basic and then you just follow of how the book that you have and where uh, for example if you have a textbook essential of human communication when you want to write it in your bibliographic just follow on how they are formatting it for example you will just use an article and chapter title only capitalize the first alphabet of the first word and the first alphabet of the first word of subtitle or any proper noun for example this part so we have the subtitle here perpustakaan masjid in negeri kedah uh, with the semicolon and then this is capital s satu tinjauan so we put in a period okay you don't have to put every each of the first alphabet in the word in the capital letter and second name of journal but in the name of the journal and proceeding you need to uh, capitalize every each of the first alphabet for all nouns, adjectives, and first alphabet of all words. For more than, uh, for a word that have four or more alphabets long. Preservation 2000, so this capital letter, this also capital letter, conference more than four alphabet. On, it doesn't have four, more than four alphabet, only two alphabet, so you don't have to put um, capital this, you don't have to capitalize this T because T is only one, two, three word alphabet and then preservations of course more than four word long for the word voice of academia still have to capitalize academia and voice and number three underscore are italicized by title of book name and newspaper or journal so for example of course in the grammar way we will put capital capitalize the the even though it's less than it's less than forward but it's the beginning of the title right at the beginning of the sentence you must capitalize the art of public speaking okay why is it not being 
um, actually not being capitalized for public speaking. So follow back to this first rule for book. We just have to rename as how it been um, written in the, the title of the book. So just follow on the first rules. Only for proceeding paper or online article will be capitalized for each of the word. But newspaper, news thread time, it's different because new thread time is the brand, is the noun, is the name of the company. So when it's noun, it must use of how the company want their alphabet look like. So you just have to copy and paste on how does the company rename the brand of the title of the newspaper or the magazine. Do not drop A and and the from the name of newspaper magazine or journal move to pages so in the pages we use pp or p okay for a ps style if you have used a reference more than one page you use hyphen just like this you use 12 13 14 15 page for the reference and same goes to you here if you use more than one page but if you only use part of the book you use p just like this like you need to only use one page of the newspaper so you include p only and then okay this is an example as well but if you use more than one but in these continuous pages and not in continuous pages for example you use only part of page two part page four and the part of part of page five you didn't use page number three here so you would also only use singular alphabet p to indicate the separate pages okay that is for aps style so far uh you still um clear and understand Hello. Still here, everyone? Okay, good. So, the format of MLA style. So, we move on bibliographic style for MLA. Uh, still, same, still not much different than APS style, but there are a few distinctive uh, you need to check on. So, on the third part here, if you will start a new um, reference uh, on the second line not in the half pay uh, not on the half inch but in 1.5 inch okay 1.5 inch from the left margin and then still same using um, alphabetically sorting by alphabetically by author surname of course using the uh, surname first name and then the middle name and as this side here just for your added information when you're looking for online newspaper or online uh, magazine sometimes they have written it in the website and they didn't give you a pdf file isn't it it just show you directly the web page if you understand what i mean do you understand it because when sometimes you look for newspaper, it directly rated at the web page, isn't it? So you will ask how to find the publisher. So at the end of the website, you look on the about us section on the website, there will be indicated of the name of the company or the publisher of that newspaper so you can check it out now you can check it out on your um, just just um, type bloomberg or you can also search um, news thread times just search any um, newspaper electronically okay and then you look at at the end of the uh, about our section at the very bottom of the website so you can take a see that there is the publisher details on it so you just use that reference as the publications okay and there's another way that i can teach you how to create for um, helping you to um, generating aps style and mls style 
what you can do is you can go to this reference management you can download this software it's free you can download it and then you can actually manage the reference that you have in your online article where you will be prepared for your assignment too isn't it and this um, software will help you to generate APS style for you but I didn't know uh, I'm still not sure whether it can generate MLS style okay you can just insert bibliographic and then they can help you to do the rest of your work okay it is not wrong to use this actually you are advised to use um, Peter also have uh, EndNotes if you're familiar with this EndNotes EndNote is also one of the reference management of your um, arranging for your articles you also can download this software EndNote from Peter uh, there is a uh, my KM knowledge if I'm not mistaken you can download the software and you can just APA generator okay citation machine and then you look at what source you want you fill in the keywords like new stretch times So the one that I have mentioned just now is on the bottom so this is the information that you can look at for the publications here you stick you can see right so this is the publisher but not that the year so if you would like to find your newspaper for example this so this is who is AFP so you have to look at this close this part when is it been right and another way where you for your assignment too because you will find a lot of in electronic newspaper this clipping you have to save this um, web page and save it as PDF you just can just click right click here right click here you can see right print and then click save as PDF save as PDF here can you see this okay good so you can see Click save, save inside your folder that you want, and yes, that remaining of it. That is one. So when you want to just try this out to find the location, of not try to find the location to generate this um, APS style here, right? So I just download, copy this URL, and let's try. For oh, this is the website. I right click here citation machine right click and search so this one is the um, the citation generator for you so but you have to be careful do not copy paste this directly you need to read throughout this one because this one it doesn't mentions on publisher right so you have to fill in all the missing information that they cannot do for you so you have to go through back go through back here and you can need to click on the authors because you want to know the author's name right who is Effie maybe it doesn't have that so you cannot uh, find the author's real name maybe you just use initial so just put this AFP since it doesn't include the name or the real name of this person yeah cannot, uh, we can take a look on that 
Okay, let's just take a look on other example. Okay, all right. So they are actually using um, department, I think. Let's say NST. So let me check on the other example okay so this is another example of newspaper um, this is from Bloomberg wealth this is virtual if not second this is a virtual newspaper so you have this name here so let's try uh, copy this URL and then cite it into our generator here so if they can help you to generate that so just replace this back and search so can actually I cite this okay now it still cannot cite in me yeah it did not cite the work uh, thoroughly even the title is you have to do it so this you have to check for another uh, example for this so you have to create and fill in the information or you can try other types of website that help you to generate APS tile yeah just let's take a look on this Okay, we have found one, but this is also not complete citations. Yeah, this is not a complete citations. They couldn't find the authors, publish and publications. So what you have to do your own. Um, what we call your own preparation for APS style and MLS style for electronic newspaper by following the format that been given to you okay so that is another one so you can also try out and not and you can also go using Mendeley reference manager okay So I continue again for AP, uh, sorry for MLA name. Name is um, the difference compared to APA. MLA will not will not cite this as initial. So you can see that William Stanton here cite as Stanton William. So you don't have to put it as W. If you receive an article that immediately giving the initial, then you just cite it as it is. Cuts W D. And compared to APA, APA using continuous N as a symbol, but for MLA they use word A N D. Okay, for example, Stanton William cuts W D and Langford John William. Books with more than three author, you will only include the first author name and then follow by the phrases at all. So, for example, this book they have three author, so you just have to cite the first author and continue with at all. As for the title, we will put on the quotation mark for a title that have a uh, short two works. For example, poem as an article with this. Yeah, it's actually T. T will be included the um, capitalized. Uh, capital the T here, the sonnet 18. And capitalized first alphabet of major words in title. Compared to the books in APA, it doesn't include um, capitalized for uh, every word. But in the 
what we call in the title of the book or any things in the title for the materials in MLA each of the major words here more than um, what we call that does have a meaning more than three here more than three alphabet need to include capitalize yeah my heart it doesn't mean um, it's actually referring to a major words here as um, giving some um, meaning yeah? my heart is giving a meaning to this title so it must be capitalized if not in APA it will be in small caps and underline number three underline title for longer words books name and newspaper or journal so in this one when you have included the books name the books name here you will have to underline the second title or the subtitle of the book then you include year compared to APA APA year is after the author's been cited or the author's name the surname the first name and the middle name then you put year but in MLA it doesn't work in that way after you have included the subtitle of the book then you put your year and in MLA it there no PP there is no notations PP or P it's only use number numeral so you see here 305-22 it's quite weird right so this 2 2 meaning that is 3 2 2 they are excluded the number of the within the same range for example you are using a page number between 200 to 233 of the book but in your citation in bibliographic you do not include this first digit or first numeral you just include the last two digit or the last um, the after the first digit in the numeral order right and for these continuous pages use the starting page followed by the plus sign if you have more than three parts to use you can use comma like this without p yeah? and you can if you have used a reference more than three parts of the book for example you have used 32 34 40 45 and then um, 49 for example is more than three parts you can put plus sign on the right side of the page that is for bibliographic okay so that's all for bibliographic citations it's very general one